I'm Bob Taylor from ABC News New York, and I am here with a one-on-one -on -one interview with OG Big Sid. He has, as of this morning, dropped out of the uh, race for mayor of Charlotte, North Carolina. Thank you, Big Sid, for sitting down with us. I know it's not going to be an easy interview, but thank you so much for the time. <laughs> uh, I'm scared, but straight up. We're just going to get right into it. Um, at 9 o'clock this morning, you dropped out of the way, race of uh, the mayor of Charlotte. And I'm going to read from a couple of quotes here. Um, and these are your words, you know, so um, if there's kids uh, watching, you might want to get them away. You said, and I quote, and, and you took a lot of heat for this, and you stood by this quote. You said, Charlotte is full of too many, and I, your quote, it says, too many goofy-looking homosexuals. Do you not think that that is extremely inappropriate? First of all, it's the truth. There's way too many goofy homosexuals here in Charlotte. You know what I'm talking about. You've been over by Cotswold. It's ridiculous, man. It's straight up goofy homosexuals everywhere. But what I said was, and you misused my words because you're fake news. I said that I don't want a lot of goofy homosexuals voting for me, and I prefer as few minorities as possible. So that might be the most racist thing I've ever heard. Charlotte, we do not have, there, you can't have too many minorities. Okay. That was that the most racist thing you've ever heard, bro? Listen, bro, that's, trust me, I've said a lot more racist things. And first of all, you took me out of context, as usual. Um, and yes, you can have too many minorities. Yeah, look, hey, look, let's just be honest. Have you ever been to a movie theater? Yeah. Okay. So don't don't come at me with your with your attitude saying we can you we don't have enough or we could have too many minorities like whatever. But we're gonna no we're gonna move on. Here's here's the thing. We did a poll uh, yesterday before you dropped out of the race, and our and uh, people in this focus group said they were not comfortable um, with an ex con as mayor, um, an ex con that is on methadone, brags about you know, cheating on his drug tests and double dosing. What do you have to say to that? Well, first of all, dude, you can take that focus group and shove it straight up your butt, straight up. And I know a lot of you and a lot of charlatans are gonna be like, oh, that sounds like fun. No matter what, that sounds gay. Okay, first of all, I'm used to having um, people um, looking down on me. Yes, I go to a methadone clinic. I never lied about that. I may or may not have lied about a drug test and who hasn't double dosed. So, I, I, you know, your question is invalid, honestly. Nothing to do with, look, we also have looked into your past. You claim to be a successful businessman, multiple businesses. You have multiple cars, multiple houses. This lovely trailer that we're in right now, um, this lovely trailer that we're in right now actually does not belong to you. It belongs to your grandmother. Um, so, you were caught in... Well, that's, that's just one of the lies you were caught in. You okay, first of all, this is a very lovely trailer, and I put it in my grandmother's name to help her confidence as a senior citizen. I have so many businesses. I stay so busy. Um, it's ridiculous. I'm like, honestly, but the reason is, is because of swing voters. You know, voters that swing. I wanted to stay in this trailer, not one of my mansions, to like uh, appeal to the swing votes, the working men, the, the, the man, the, the swingers. That has nothing to do with that. What I'm saying, no, no, they're not swingers. They're just, the, it's a swing vote. They're undecided. No, that has, okay, nothing to do with, look, you also said very, very offensive things about law enforcement. Um, you said, and I quote, any CMPD, Charlotte Mecklenburg police officer that pulls you over, you will slap them. You said you'll straight slap a cop. Okay. Yeah, and I stand by that statement wholeheartedly. Look, straight up, dude, I will slap a cop that crosses me. Straight up, CMPD, you know where I live, pull up. I'll straight slap a cop. I stand by that statement. I have no problem with that. Cops are so annoying, bro. But I back the blue. I back the blue. Okay. You stand by that statement. Look, Sid, here's the problem. No, no, Charlotte, no, it has nothing to do with Charlotte. Trust me, they're ready for a progressive candidate. Do you even know what progressive means? Yeah, I know what progressive means. I'm just not going to tell you because, honestly, you're starting to be very, very aggressive and offensive. Straight up, dude. That's not what that means. No, I just don't think they were ready for an ex-con racist drug addict. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, first of all, yes, I'm an ex-con. And just because I like to partake in basically all kinds of drugs. Speaking of which, I got some perkin. 
But like, it's, quit looking down on people. All drugs should be legalized, especially the ones I like to do, which is all of them. Which is all of them. Yep. So you admit to failing multiple drug tests and lying about it. Yeah, I admit to failing multiple drug tests. But it was mostly for benzodiazepines, so it doesn't really, that doesn't really count. And yeah, I, I lied about it because I was tired of people judging me on my, you know, my characters. Basically, I have amazing character. Benzos is a failed drug test. And yes, if you say it wasn't me, that's actually the definition of a lie. Let's just move on here. I have a few more questions. You said to all the female voters... I don't want your vote unless you're super sexy and have a big old booty. And I quote. <laughs> yeah, I said that, dude. Straight up, man. Imagine me up there and I win the, win the election. I want a lot of sexy female voters with a big old booty. And honestly, dude, like, female voters are annoying most of the time. And if they're unattractive, they're probably Democrat, let's be honest. Um, and so I don't want them um, voting for me. I don't see how that's a problem. At all. Straight up. I love a sexy lady. Okay. Why are you so obsessed with, your words, goofy homosexuals and drugs? First of all, way too many snowflakes. Everybody can agree that goofy homosexual is like, um, it's like calling somebody buddy or hey sport. It's the same thing. And I'm not obsessed with drugs. I just, I really like to do drugs. And by the way, that was not me in that picture at the shardy party. Okay, first of all, I don't go to shardy parties on the Lord's Day on Sunday. No, sir, those pictures of you at a shardy party with in your underwear, those were verified by TMZ. That was you at the party. No, no, it's pretty clearly you saying a racial slur. Okay, now let me make this perfectly clear. Do you, you said the 1950s was a great time in America and you support segregation. How can you in 2020 still say something so offensive? It's easy how I can say something so offensive. The 1950s were an amazing time. Women were women. There wasn't people confused whether they have a dong or a JJ. You know what I'm saying? And like, as for segregation, honestly, segregation is just like a signed CD. Everybody loves like, yo, we have a signed seats at this wedding. That's all segregation was. So I stand beside this statement and I'm tired of the media trying to make me out to be a bad guy. Roll call!